Don't eat. Hall of Records. I got some up here. You got some. Hey, look, I'm going to show you this comic, bro. I did some blow ups, man. We're going to go check it out and see how the slides look. Welcome to the new world. Check this out, y'all. So, Tony, this is your scene. That's super dope. Mm. Blah! That made me nice, like, yeah, strong. Like, like, Tony has what is the company. I'm flying it and everything. There you go, blowing shit up. Look at me, I'm chilling. Like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, man, this story is about my life, man. It's basically my music life. Instead of, you know, I have songs that I don't have credit for. So, instead of crying and whining about that, I decided to just kind of tell a story. And people can, you know, take what they want from it. And, and the documentary seemed kind of old fashioned to me. Uh, I felt like stepping this back, it's gonna be a coffee table book about this big, you know, 11 by 17, and with all of these animations. Shout out to Pixel Animations, be tight. So in this world, it's an alternate world where music is in charge of everything. So all the musical people are in power. And the agencies, the spy agencies hire us because we got the streets. So we are like CIA. You are transportation specialists. You run the whole Dominican secret army. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because you control with music, you got the same power. So all of us uh, become presidents. Uh, Barry, Go uh, excuse me, Quincy Jones is the first black president instead of Barack Obama. And Ice-T is the vice president. Then Dr. Dre, fast forward to now, he becomes president. And because Dr. Dre, whenever the music person becomes president, their musical works become state secrets. They gather them all up. So they start looking for me. But I don't want to get caught. So you can find me on IG, nigga. Okay. <laughs> That's dope, bro. Like, that's really like, you know, I love I love it. Like, bro, everything. Like, the story, the graphics, like, everything, man. Like, it's coming together, huh? Yeah. It's strong, too. So, you know, hopefully when I get done, other uh, producers and hip hop music people will find alternate ways to tell their stories as opposed to just a documentary. It's like, if I hear about another documentary, bro, my documentary, everybody's my documentary. Okay, so my documentary, I'm like, dude, I don't ever want to say those words. So.